Wait for it. Wait for it. Hmm, I guess there's a reason why the large dots start so late. Hi there and welcome to Jokut's workbench. And welcome back to my CNC 3040 adventure. In this video I will try to improve the speed control of my spindle motor. This is the spindle motor of my machine. It is a 40 volt brushed DC motor that can spin up to 12,000 RPM. At least that is what the sticker says. I have no idea whether it is true or not. The speed is controlled by this potentiometer here. Inside the control box is a microcontroller that reads the position of the knob and drives the motor via a PWM signal. I have to turn on the knob surprisingly far before anything happens. And I have no idea which knob position correlates to which speed. But that is important to know actually so that I can set speeds and feeds correctly later for different cutters and materials. Here are some components from my stuff drawers that I will use to make a speed sensor. A small piece of strip board holds the parts. A white LED, a photo transistor and some resistors. The result is a simple light detector circuit. It is attached to a small wooden mounting arm. The function of the circuit is visible on my scope. When I move the circuit over a dark surface nothing happens, but anything reflective draws the light of the LED back into the transistor and causes the signal to go up. I add a piece of aluminium foil to that rotor here of my spindle and attach the sensor to the motor mounting block. Now each rotation makes the signal go up and down again. And that allows me to measure how fast my spindle motor rotates. The scope measures the frequency which corresponds to revolutions per second. The motor can spin up to about 210 rotations per second. That is 12600 RPM. I guess the sticker was right. I am planning to add two Arduinos to my control box. One that runs GRBL and controls the machine and one that reacts to a hand controller and that sends G-code commands to the other one. That Arduino is otherwise pretty idle and I think I can use it to count the RPMs of the spindle. To measure the RPM I need to detect events of signal high after signal low. I count these events in a time frame of 180 milliseconds. You will see in a second why. On the Arduino I am using a timer interrupt function for that, which is called 1000 times per second. 180 function calls last 180 milliseconds and I count in how many of them I got the signal event. My counter has a resolution of 333 RPM, which is precise enough for me. And the timer routine has the advantage that I get a consistent speed update every 0.18 seconds while not interrupting my main loop too much. That is important because my Arduino here will have several simultaneous jobs at the end. I will show the RPM value on a 7 segment display. These displays are quite slow actually, at least in the world of signal analysis. You can see it here counting up in a loop. Updating the display in my timer interrupt function is not an option. I place the display update routine into the Arduino main loop. The display routine is repeatedly interrupted by my timer function, but that is fine because the TM1637 controller is pretty forgiving with inconsistent signal timing. 
This piece of code here is all that is needed for a simple RPM counter. The speed control of the machine is pretty awful. The control feels sluggish and the way how the knob position translates to different speeds is not intuitive. Also, why is there so much travel where the spindle doesn't turn at all? That doesn't make sense. And the motor creates this annoying 500Hz whine, which starts to hurt my ears. There are apparently ways to make the controller listen to an external PWM, but I didn't get that to work. And I assume that the controller would anyway still just interpret the input PWM and use its own PWM output. My Arduino here is still pretty idle, so let's turn it into our own motor controller. The spindle is powered via that MOSFET here, which in turn is controlled by a PNP transistor. The base of that transistor is high per default, and it pulls the gate of the MOSFET down to switch it off. The optic coupling here pulls the base of the transistor down whenever it is activated, and hence switches on the MOSFET. I will add my own optic coupling, piggyback style, on that one here, to bypass it. I did not have an actual optic coupling at hand, and so I made my own crude version using an LED and a phototransistor facing each other, in a tube that I 3D printed and then painted black. The default PWM frequency of an Arduino Uno is 490Hz, and when I want to get rid of that whine noise, I have to change it. The Arduino has three timers that control the PWM frequency of different pins. I use pin 11 for the motor, which is controlled by timer number 2. I change the PWM frequency of that pin from 480 to 125Hz. Then I connect the pot to an analog input of the Arduino and use the value to set the PWM duty cycle. A check with the scope tells me that my setup works and that the frequency is correct. Then I dare trying it using the spindle motor. That works great, and it makes a huge difference. The control is smooth, and the annoying sound is gone. Now that I have a speed sensor and my own PWM speed control, I can make a feedback-based speed controller. I use the pod for selecting different target speeds. Then I update the Arduino code in a way so that it reads the target speed from the pod and compares it with the measured spindle speed. When the speed is too low, it increases the PWM duty cycle, and when it is too high, it decreases it. The maximum ramp up speed is limited by how fast the duty cycle changes over time. It changes 1 up or 2 down in 0.18 seconds and my spindle is pretty happy with that. I have set the smallest duty cycle value to 16, which leads to a spindle speed of about 4000 RPM. When the spindle is on, it spins at least that fast. When the spindle is off, then there is no speed signal and my Arduino knows that it doesn't need to adjust the duty cycle. I have wired the spindle switch on the front in series with my piggyback optic coupling, so that the MOSFET is off whenever the switch is off. In that way, I can select a speed and switch on the spindle, and it ramps up to the desired speed. The speed follows the target speed nicely, without too much bouncing around. My allowed RPM range for a target RPM is quite forgiving though, to make sure that the spindle does not oscillate too much. There is one more advantage of an active speed control. 
When there is any load on the spindle, the controller gives it more power to keep the speed constant. I use the other side of the LED display to show the current power percentage. That information is also helpful in the future to see whether a load is overloading the spindle. You can see here, when I put a load on the spindle, that the RPM goes down first, but then the power goes up a bit and the RPM comes back. The next steps are simple. I will make an enclosure for the display and place it here, probably. And I will mount the Arduino in the enclosure. All that can be seen in my next video in a month or so. At least, so I hope. That is all for this time and I hope you liked it. Please subscribe and see you next time.